NFTs are not just about art. Creatives are using this as a means and entryway for other ways to storytell through video games, even feature films. And don't think that Christmas stories are getting away from this. NFTs are snapping up Christmas stories, and we're going to tell you exactly how right now. Merry Mods, Merry Mods. This is a holiday themed generative NFT collection created by Tom Bill Yu. Who's Tom Bill Yu? He's the man. Oh, he's the man. <laughs> he is like boss entrepreneur, CEO, founder of Quest. But guess what? He teamed up with artist and creator Francisco. Uh, let me say, Fran Francisco. Herrera. Orale! <laughs> you said that ready for so that. much better than me. <laughs> He's worked with Disney, DreamWorks, Marvel, and more. And there is a reason we're telling you this story. It's going to completely change your mindset around NFTs and what they are capable of. Billy says, quote, I am super excited about Mary Mods. It's our first major storytelling based NFT drop. And we've got an insanely talented team of roughly 50 creatives, including people that they've grabbed from Disney and Netflix. So I'm going to show you a quick little video of what these guys have going on. So this latest endeavor of Bill Yu and how do you say that name? Elena. <laughs> Elena feels, per <laughs> feels perfectly aligned with Impact Theory's mission of impacting culture through developing empowering content across most popular forms of media. And you're probably like, okay, Heather, whatever. What does this have to do with anything? This is why I'm, I'm excited. I'm wondering why you're going, where you're going with this as well. Like uh, for anyone who doesn't know Tom Bilyeu, here's here he's extremely, extremely inspirational figure for for both of us but he has something that i want and it is this amazing show called impact theory he has guests he has this amazing studio very high level guests very high level conversations he's got a show with his wife as well so i'm like heather like dude he's already in the media business and he creates a shit ton of content and he's got a podcast but like, this is I the thing this, what... wait, let me tell you rich let me tell you rich so yeah cool tom billy is like popular with people like us who are in the entrepreneurial personal development space but this is why i'm so excited about nfts is this is giving Given an opportunity for people who have spent years building brands to not only consult with people in Hollywood, but also have a stake in the game. And I'm going to show you exactly how here. Who is one of your favorite people, Rich? We covered him a minute ago, a couple of episodes ago, Quentin Tarantino. Oh, yes. God, man. He's he makes incredible. me a little nervous. You can watch the video here where we talk about him. Um, but guess what? Tom Billy, this man that we're talking about, here's a little small clip where he was able to consult with Quentin through NFT projects. If you were to actually NFTize every frame of Pulp Fiction, let's say, the shot where the two of them are holding the guns has become like that meme image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy Christ, dude, that would sell for millions for sure. <laughs> Tens of millions? That, that okay, okay, one okay, okay, frame. Okay, 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 uh, to not sound like a, a clueless dork, how is that different from all the stills that already exist? All right, so this is where it gets interesting. The image of the NFT isn't the thing, it's the sense of ownership. Now, when you own it, now we're down to the blockchain, and this is where NFTs get interesting. At the level of the blockchain, think of that image as having matrix code inside of it, literally. Yeah. And now, I can detect through technology whether you have the real one or a fake one. Gotcha. Oh, and okay. if you have the real one, you can come have dinner with Quentin every year, mm -hmm. you know, whatever, on the launch date of the yeah, film. Right. Uh, yeah, and if uh, you don't, you get fuck all. You get to enjoy the image, but you don't yeah, yeah, yeah. get like the matrix code inside. NFTs are giving the ability for brands who are in one space to kind of enter into a media space. Another person that we absolutely love is Gary stinking Vayner Chuck. Did you know, Rich, that Gary V has an IMDB? No. that. Do you know what an IMDB is? Yeah, like where you go to see an actor's disc or, or like, what do you call it? In, in music, it's a discography. 
it's Whatever. like a resume for like all the food it's, they've been yeah, in. Yeah, it's like so. a resume for the entertainment yeah. space. And so it's really cool seeing these uh, entrepreneurs kind of cross industries a little bit. Now, granted, I will say um, I did learn one thing about, and I'm going to show you in just a second, one thing that NFTs have brought Gary V into where he was like alongside Chris Rock, Ashton Kutcher. Um, Kutcher. Is it Mila? Mila Kunis? <laughs> and... <laughs> Mila Kunis. And Mila Kunis. I mean, like, this is some really cool stuff. But here's one little random fact I had to throw in that I did not know about Gary Vaynerchuk Rich. It's called Blow Your Mind, maybe. Do you know that he actually had, like, a show with Gwyneth Paltrow in 2019? The Apple thing. You knew that? Yes. I <gasps> you was... knew that? Dude, let me tell you something. In Shallow Hal, I had, like, an insane crush on her. Not, not when she was... I have a was... crush on her. <laughs> not, not... I have a crush on her. So he got credit on IMDb, but also because of NFTs, he was able to collaborate on the project with Ashton and Myla on Stoner Cats. Yes, I slept on those, dude. I slept on Mary Mods, and I slept on Stoner Cats, to be honest. And I knew. We listened to that episode. You told Do me you about that Do you have a Mary episode. Mod? Do you have Mary no, Mods? I have, uh, no, I have Impact. I have Founders Keys. Yeah, we have the keys. We have a couple of... Mary and Mods. let me say um, one other thing. Yeah, go. Gary as a raccoon, like that's the only beef I've ever had with him in my entire life because I am deathly freaking afraid of raccoons. Like no I cannot way. even tell you. Like I would okay. throw my daughter in front of me if one came running at me. Both of them. Well, Stoner Cat said that Gary V is looking good as Hash Panda the raccoon. And we had a viewer of them say that Gary was great and he had a lot more time than he expected. But th this is the whole point of all of this is yes, we can see an NFT project coming out like Mary Mods or whatever stoner cats or whatever but what this is giving opportunity to is to reinvent what media looks like to reinvent what distribution looks like to have people like tom billu who i know has like always dreamed of like superheroes and disney and storytelling yes he's been able to do incredible things in the entrepreneurial space but now through nfts he's actually able to like consult with quentin tarantino and like have a, a roadmap to where this stuff is going to be mainstream media and i mean like proof of this to me is seeing Gary Vaynerchuk have an IMDB of being a voiceover for a raccoon in a in a media thing. I think this is kind of cool and exciting. And I think people are thinking so small term with NFTs right now. This is revolutionizing the way that we consume. Why? Yeah, Tell me. I know why it's it seems small term because it's so iterative. Like the the NFT space, you know, we've talked about it being the wild, wild west. We've talked about all all the way, way, way like more supply than there is demand ish and just like a lot of ship projects. So even if people that we admire, Tom and Gary and people like that are kind of iterating on what media can be and creating these different things. And like, if you're an NFT holder, you get to watch the series and all that. Like, I'm not sure it's entirely groundbreaking. I'm still going to go to the movies to see Spider-Man, right? Like, I'm still going to watch Kevin Hart. You are on right Truth now Thor. in 2021, but what happens in five years to yes. 10 years? No, Come on. I'm saying... I, I'm not saying I don't believe in what can happen here. Tom Billy is a, an entrepreneur's entrepreneur, right? Like him, Gary, those those guys are like the people's people, right? So what he's trying to do is just be first and just be like, look, like, hey, guys like Quentin, who's one of the best directors in movie fucking history, he's saying, don't think one dimensional. This does have another kind of portal, even if it doesn't even really exist yet in your mind, you know? So I'm saying that's why people, and I'm slightly <laughs> in that case. get over your apron. <laughs> she asked me to me. put this bullshit look everyone this is all because of heather the text is listen 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 everyone listen real quick this is like 10 minutes ago hey come with some christmas gear for our christmas episode like antler ears santa hat christmas sweater i mean go all out because we're gonna be decking the halls you know what i'm saying with our christmas episode so you've been warned and I wrote, I don't have any of that shit. <laughs> and you lied. Look at you. <laughs> you look like your name should be Aunt Martha. <laughs> anyway, what <laughs> what other points do you have? So you're saying... I'm, I'm, I'm saying the thinking is super early, which makes people really uncomfortable. The same people that are talking about driverless cars yes. and flying cars and who are willing to stop at nothing to make that happen are going to be the people that make people like you and I, the doubters, look like fucking idiots. 
A hundred percent. And that's why roadmaps are so important to look at and actually hold on to if you believe the creator. So like with Tom Bilyeu, I mean, like if you look at marymods.io, like it actually shows that this roadmap is going from, you know, November and December into 2023. So we're looking at, you know, not seeing anything really moving until next year in November, December, not seeing anything moving until the following year, November, December. And I think people are getting so frustrated because they just want to make these quick flips of NFTs like, oh, I need to make some quick cash and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, maybe okay, but we've really got to see what's happening in history right now that this is something that's shifting and adjusting the way that we do life. And you, we not might not have quick wins. And I know at the very beginning, Rich, the very first episodes we did, that was a little bit of our conversation there we were excited about, which is fine. It's an entry point. But I think what's really interesting as consumers and creators and participants in the this world is thinking way, 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 way long term with this. And I personally want to go on record saying I can't wait to see what happens with Mary Mods and what he creates with this. I'm excited too. Big supporters of his. So let us know in the comments if you have any Mary Mods or if you have any opinions on like, are they thinking way too far and is it kind of crazy or should they be thinking this way because the future is ours? It's it's just kind of being dictated that anything is freaking possible in this uh, kind of NFT Web 3.0 space. Yeah, this is a direct quote and we'll end here with Thomas. His Mary Mods is a Feature length story told over multiple platforms that's making its debut as an NFT generative art project. It will expand upon the lore of Christmas and help people of all ages connect with their inner wonderment and begin a new NFT spin to the most magical time of year. What do you guys think? Comment down below. We love you. Merry Christmas. See you soon.